All right, so for this video, we have a SNS Power uh, early 2000s press kit. So this came out around 2001, from what I can tell. Uh, and it's very interesting. There's some ride concepts in there, some ride information that was not really previously known. But this is actually a corporate press kit that they would have sent out to a park maybe interested in one of their rides. Um, if you want to see a corporate press kit on Togo, then I will actually be looking at their corporate press kit from around the same time um, in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Um, and if you want to see one on um, Premier Rides or Aerodynamics, there's two great channels, Zoni's Coasters and Aero Enlightenment Leader, both great channels, both ride ops. There's two re reasons to go subscribe to them. The links to their channels in the videos will be in the description, so make sure to go check those out. Anyway, uh, let's get started with this one. So as you can see, we have a start, you know, feel the, feel the power. Uh, you can see a concept for probably Power Tower or some other um, multi-shot ride, multi-shot and drop, whatever. And as we open it up here, um, you can see um, they've got it laid out quite nicely. Um, we get first card here is just sort of a contact sheet for SNS. So if you were interested in buying one of their rides, see it's got sort of a, you can break this out and put it in uh, your contacts list if you had one of those, which you probably would at the time this corporate press kit went out. And over here on the left side, we got a company profile. As you can see, they got a nice picture of the Stratosphere shot tower. Open it up here. We get a view of SNS's factory at the time. See, I'm making some, uh, looks like drop tower restraints of some kind. Um, more factory information, more contact information. And then a whole thing here about SNS power, which you can read if you want to pause that and read it. As well as Stan Chekets, who, uh, as if you're at all familiar with SNS, um, you probably know that name. He's uh, very well known um, and a pretty cool dude. <laughs> Let's get to the next page. So, um, about their rides, talks about. Oh, you get to have a footprint as small as 28 feet if you want a frog hopper. Sorry about this. Okay. And then it goes through. It's the most thrilling, the most frightening, yet exhilarating experience I've ever had. Yeah, that's how shot towers are. <laughs> yeah, so a uh, bunch of testimonials. Get over here, talks some specifics about their drop tower rides. Um, SNS service department is open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Yep, <laughs> help is just a phone call away. Goes into some details about some of their rides here. Air, air power for each ride is provided by an Ingersoll Rand air compressor. Compressed air is piped into an air storage tank located on the inside of the tower structure, which is built in as a part of the ride structure. Yep. Thanks, SNS. Very cool. Over here, you get some specifications about some of their specific rides. I'm not going to spend too much time here because they cover this in another part of the press kit. We'll just breeze through it real quick, including this one. We'll get to that in a second. Frog Hopper, very interesting. I've operated one of those. Some questions and answers. You can pause that if you want to read it. SNS rides have a one year warranty. And you see right here, Stan Checkets on top of not Supreme Screen. And you can see these are their locations worldwide. It's interesting, it's this tower ride, but this does not just include tower rides because space shot, turbo drop, double shot, combo ride, multi-tower complex, and the Thrust Air 2000 is on here. Both Dota Dampa and Hypersonic are both listed on here. So we get that out of the way. And now we'll move on to this side because this side's a little more interesting. You see right here it talks a message from Stan Checkett. Um, Stan Checkett's, uh, and he actually signs it down here. It's not actually signed, it's just printed, but still. So right here, uh, it goes into detail about all these rides. You can see Space Shot, Turbo Drop, Double Shot, Combo Ride, Multi-Tower Complex, Thrust Air 2000, Frog Hopper, and Snow Shot. So we'll start with the most common. Space shot. You can pause it and look at the specific information on there. Interesting stuff. You can see the footprint for the ride, all that sort of stuff. Got a picture of knots there. Uh, Supreme Scream. 
Get some good information on there. Zero to 40 mile per hour acceleration free fall. I think this is Indiana Beaches, I think. Yeah, it may not be. Definitely isn't anymore. Rip. So, yep, this is the double shot. So, up, down, I would guess. Or is it up, down, up? Uh, well, we can read. Um, you can read. Two 30 mile per hour launch sequences in every ride. Ooh, that's a nice picture of uh, Scream at Fiesta Texas. That's probably the worst one of these have done. Um, but yeah. Can I read that? All SNS power rides meet ASTM standards. Glad they're focusing on safety. Uh, there's Power Tower right there. Shows you the layout here, control booth in the middle. And then right here we have the Thrust Air 2000. Um, now you'll notice uh, this looks like hypersonic, but uh, for those of you who know about hypersonic XLC, uh, you'll know that it was actually the prototype that they moved to King's Dominion. Um, and that is what this appears to be, the prototype itself, not uh, once it was relocated to King's Dominion. Um, so if we flip it over here, we get a drawing of Hypersonic's layout. And what's interesting about this is, as you can see, there's an airtime hill. And now if you know anything about the ride itself, there was no airtime hill when the public got to ride it at King's Dominion. Uh, so obviously in the original concept, there was supposed to be an airtime hill there. And for whatever reason, uh, probably capacity related to getting more brakes in there, I would guess. But I, I don't know. Um, they uh, um, removed that. So yeah, that, that is this, this very interesting information on here. Um, and this was after Dodadampa came out, but they don't seem to talk too much about it uh, in this press kit. Quiet and energy efficient. I don't know about quiet. <laughs> I think I feel like that's a bit of a, a stretch there. We have a frog hopper. These things are cool, little 25 foot tall. Yep, interesting design choice. And then the snow shot. So this, I feel like Theme Park Crazy is probably going to talk about this in an upcoming video because uh, he did mention uh, there was a park that's now closed, I think it was in Utah, that had a bunch of really weird SNS rides. And this was one of them. They also had a, a drop tower um, that used compressed air to stop. It was really strange. And a whole bunch of weird SNS rides. An SNS sky coaster for like so many weird things. Um, but this was one of them, the snow shot. So it's sort of, what I, from what I understand, it's like one of those top eliminator dragster rides, um, except it's snowmobiles <laughs> and compressed air. Um, yeah, so you can read about that there. It's Yeah, it's a lot like the, the top eliminator, from what I've heard. Uh, computer controlled, yeah, guide system, your standard kind of stuff there. Even got a garage. It's basically a differently themed top eliminator dragsters. Um, but yeah, it's a, that's that concept. And we look on the back here, and there's nothing else except a very cool picture of a concept for a multi-tower, or whatever they should know by now. I have the card right here. Multi-tower complex, yep. Um, yeah, that's all for this video. Like I said, check out those other press kits linked in the description, as well as the Togo one when that comes out in a few days. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.